guys welcome back so glad you're still on this journey with me and uh, you've had a chance to hopefully watch some of the other videos in my series and uh, you're enjoying them i'm as i said on a journey of discovery in my own way um as those of you who don't know me um i do a lot of um channeled and inspirational writings and uh, I've been doing so for a while so um, the purpose of this series is to share some of the wisdom and insight that has come through as part of what I do and to help share that knowledge to inspire you and help you um, grow and evolve in your own way to achieve your goals and your destiny. Um, as things unfold um, I'm probably achieving my goals along the way but um, the way I see things you know and it's and it's been fairly recently that I've I've come to really realize that everybody has got to be part of your journey in some way shape or form I know and I think I've said this you know before that I have tried to do a lot on my own um, to kind of um, push myself forward, but I felt something was missing. You know, I've always been chugging along, chugging along type of thing. But um, since the realization that, you know, I need to come out of my, my shell, um, my writer's shell, so to speak, and that I need to um, engage more and use the medium of video um, because there's a whole other audience there that if they don't read then they're missing out I realized on you know my teachings my writings and what I like to share to inspire people um, from all walks of life so I thought yeah I need to literally do this and um i hope you've enjoyed the series so far what direction it's going to go in i'm not quite sure but as i said to you in my other video i've taken action i've taken that step and where it will lead me i don't know you know um i'm i'm just just an individual with with so much to share um, having written so much, it's just like I can't keep stuff to myself. I can't keep it, you know, on my laptop and, you know, whatever. I've got to get it out there. And even if it means me starting it in my own way. And, um, you know, as I said, I've been doing everything on my own. Um, and if I start this way and I get support from others or even the, the help of others then I can like double what I'm doing as an individual the writing's there but you know getting it out there that's that's the key so I thought that this would be a great way to start and that's why I'm here chatting with you as 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 Per usual um yeah i wasn't quite sure the format so um what i've tended to do is have a little chat to you like one-on-one -on -one <laughs> at the start and then i do talk a little bit about one of the passages i've written and how to um you know use that to help yourself for the day and um kind of end it kind of trying to support you in some way and I understand um, so much of what I talk about is not easy to achieve. Um, and there, there must be a lot of reservations in maybe some of the things I say. It sounds easier by saying it than it is in actually doing it. But don't let that put you off. You know, I'm not saying... You have to take leaps and bounds and, you know, all of what I'm saying, you're going to be able to incorporate it in your life overnight. Um, not at all. It is going to be a process. It is going to take time. 
and some of you are going to take a lot longer than others. Um, that doesn't mean that you don't get it. It just means that, you know, in order for you to find the balance and, you know, find the timing to take on board some of the things I've been sharing in, in the past videos, um, it may mean that your lifestyle and what you do is different in comparison to someone else who may just get it instantly and start acting on it immediately. Um, I know that these things take time because I'm a prime example <laughs> of that process. And I can tell you this, um, you know, if you if I were to share and I probably will do this if I was to share the mistakes I've made and, and the things I've made you will realize that we are no different in terms of we may do different things we may look different we may live in different locations but as people as individuals um, I'm susceptible to everything you are and you know that's that's no joke like as, as a human being, believe me, everything I've experienced and been through, um, you know, I'm sure whatever you're going through, maybe certain things I may not have experienced to you. But um, in the broad scale of things, there's a lot that I can say. I went down that road or I've been down that journey or I've been through that or the position you're in don't worry because I've experienced that and there are things I'm still going through and experiencing even whilst doing these videos but um, this is a way of sharing my knowledge and wisdom that has come through to me sharing that and helping you with your situational circumstances I feel by sharing it I'm able to help you and as I've always said you'll be helping me as well by being a listener by being a viewer by um, listening in some way shape or form in what I'm sharing and I hope it adds value to your life as well um, you know because I'm even learning as I go along and in that respect it, it, it's a good thing all over if I keep doing these I hope that um, people enjoy them people love them and and will subscribe and and it will grow to the point where I can do it more <laughs> I can't wait for that time where this is one of the things I can focus on um, virtually a hundred percent because I love it I love it I thought I didn't I thought listen I don't think I can do this but after the first couple of videos I feel I was born to do this and this I feel is the purpose of what I was born to do and this is share inspiring knowledge to others so that they can be inspired motivated empowered in their own way in their life you know I can talk about what value it it has for me but that has no relevance to you because at the end of the day you're watching this not for my benefit but to benefit yourself in some way shape or form and that's what I want you to be watching it for um, you know at the end of the day I can go through each day and not do this and you know I can go through each day and do it and make a difference if I sit here on a daily and don't do anything, then, you know, what is the purpose of, of all this written material? You know, what is the purpose of it? It doesn't make sense, does it? So, um, yeah, this is a great journey and I'm glad you're on it with me in whatever shape or form. So um, today's passage, um, I've called it Not Shying Away. Um, and it, and this is what it says. Let me rise up today, not shying away from my commitments, but embracing them as I should. Now, not shying away from your commitments means that 
regardless of what you have to do or have to achieve, regardless of what you're committed to, whether it's commitment to another person, whether it's commitment to um, a role that you have to undertake or commitment to, um, you know, a sibling or commitment to a, a family member or commitment in any way, shape or form, a commitment to a relationship, whichever way this this commitment is, this passage is saying, don't shy away from it. And we'll talk a bit, a bit about what shying away from things means, um, because, you know, <laughs> it's one of the things that, lo and behold, I've done often. So, um, you know, and if I can overcome it, you can. I can tell you this. I'm one of the shyest type of, of, of characters you'll, you'll, you'll ever meet. You know, it takes a lot for me to come out and, and do this. So um, if I can do it, you can. That's for starters. But it says, yes, rise up today. In other words, don't let another day go by. Don't, you know, let the week pass, the month pass, the year pass. Rise up today. It says, let me rise up today not shying away from my commitment. So, you know, this is like, don't shy away from whatever you are committed to or that you need to do or you need to achieve. And a commitment can be a personal commitment or it can be a commitment to others or a commitment to your job or your career or um, your standing in the community. It could be a commitment to... Um, you know, a loved one. It could be so many terms or, or, you know, commitment to a daughter or a son or whatever the commitment. Don't shy away from it. Yeah. And it says embrace it as you should. And I feel that that word embracing is a great one because when you embrace things, when you take them on in an embracing way, I feel that they kind of take on a new meaning. Um, you know, if you embrace something that you otherwise would normally not kind of embrace, um, you're changing a negative view on something into a positive one. So if you are embracing um, your commitment or a decision or you're embracing an opportunity, whatever it is, that word embrace is like you 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 it's like a hug isn't it it's embracing it's i take this on and when you embrace things immediately you are given the way you're shown the means you're you're given the opportunity to make whatever you embrace not only feel better, but manifest it in the way that you want or the way you envision or the way that you feel you can. So I love that word embracing and it's and it's scattered a lot throughout my my work. Um, and in this in this saying, um, it, it, it really makes you feel that you've understood Whatever it is you need to do, well, if it's a commitment, you've understood that commitment and you're embracing it, meaning I'm going to incorporate it as a part of my life or as a commitment. Maybe it's a lifestyle thing. Maybe it's a, a commitment to give someone a phone call or maybe it's a commitment to just say, I'm going to smile more, <laughs> you know, throughout your day. Even that is embracing something that you know you decide I'm going to commit to this it may be that it's a charity or something and you say I'm going to commit to giving them such and such every month or whatever the commitment is it can be big it can be small it can be you know something you do once or something you do on a regular it doesn't matter but in terms of what you perceive you're committed to, it's great. Embrace it. Embrace it means taking it on in a loving way, 
you know, embracing. If you take things on begrudgingly, then you're not embracing it. You know, it's a chore. It's not even a commitment. It's like it's like a, you know, maybe I wouldn't go so far as to say like a death sentence, but it's like done with reluctance. You know, I'm not saying it's fully negative, but you're, you're putting that resistance there. Um, but embracing it means I break down all, all my my resistance. I break down all the things that I may have thought about it. You may have to commit to something you may not even fully agree with. But because of the person that you are or, you know, maybe it's a family commitment where you have to um, take care of another member of your family or something, you know, it could be any type of commitment. You may not even fully want to make that commitment. But once you embrace it, it means that you let go, you take it on, you... Um, literally say I'm ready to undergo the transformation I need to make to embrace it and you are kind of as well also open yourself up for it to transform you um you know and that's and that's one of the things I've talked about a lot as we've kind of got to know each other in these in these past few videos um, I've talked about me having to do things that open me up and I have to be willing or I had to be willing to transform as a person by working on myself to say, I now embrace the company of others on this journey. I, I now understand that my journey is also or can become a part of another person's journey you know, not just in the patron sense, but also in the sense of giving knowledge and wisdom. Maybe this knowledge and wisdom that I'm sharing may be incorporated into part of your journey. I may not know about it. I may not even be aware of what I'm saying in a way that may help you, but you may have incorporated it in a way unknown to me yet you might find some value in it. And that's why I'm doing this, to um, allow others to get that value from, um, I know it's mainly writings, but in me verbalising it in video form or audio form, um, it allows you to experience it if you're not an avid reader or you're not an avid you know bookworm or book type um i felt yeah you know all this work i can put it into books which is great and i will continue to do that that's a huge part of my goal and a huge part of my journey but i can also put it into other formats um you know i've started like with the meditations and things that's another format that's another empowering aspect um in meditation form but yeah just chatting about stuff with you guys on video is um getting it out there to more people who would if it wasn't for video and i wasn't i didn't have the courage to do what i'm doing today or the weeks before, or the, you know, the days after this, then, hey, you guys wouldn't be aware of um, what I'm doing, what I'm sharing, and, um, you know, who knows? Um, a lot more people may come to be aware of it and may benefit from it. That's, that's why I thought, you know what, I need to do this. But going back to um, rising up today and not shying away from your commitments and embracing them, as you should. Um, I think what you can take from that today is to be open. You know, don't feel that things have to take forever. You can make a difference today. You can rise up today. You can even make a commitment today. You know, maybe yesterday you thought, <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm not doing that. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to commit to that. You know, maybe you're, 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 you may be in a situation where you need to see your kids more or, um, you know, you need to be available more to someone or a particular person that you haven't really given much time to. 
and you may decide, you know what, today I think I'm going to give them more. I'm going to commit to them more or I'm going to give them more of my time. Again, commitment can be in all forms. It doesn't have to be um, in monetary terms. It doesn't have to be in, you know, it's just, as I said, it could even be something as small as a smile. Um, that's a commitment, you know, and even saying it makes me smile. <laughs> but yeah, that's the way it is. You know, you may decide today, I'm going to make a commitment rather than shy away from it. And just before I go, gosh, you know, shying away from things, I have come to learn that it serves absolutely no purpose. Um, it's been something I've done, you know, for decades in my life, shying away from stuff. Because I just had that kind of shy childhood upbringing that, you know, um, it wasn't it was encouraged or anything, but it was just like a part of me, always shying away, always kind of keeping things to myself. It has its merits from time to time, but ultimately, after years and years of of nurturing a shying aspect of my nature, I've realised it was rubbish. Don't bother with it. Be bolder. Be more courageous. Come out of those shell. You know that 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 shell. Come out and be a bit more trusting and courageous of yourself. And a lot of people. Um, have that shy aspect to their nature. Obviously, this aspect of shying away from a commitment means, you know, not really wanting to fully commit to something. But there is an aspect of shying away that you may feel as a person shying away from things is part of a shying personality um, that you may have. And at the end of the day, you're not alone. <laughs> I'm I'm someone who has done that time and time again. So even what I'm saying now, it resonates with myself. I need to take it on board just as much as you have. And I need to keep reminding myself to stop switching into those zones and, and coming out and stop shying away. Be committed to it. Embrace whatever it is you need to do better now than never and each little step helps to add value to whatever it is you're going to commit to or add value to whatever it is you're destined to do or become all of it is part of a unit you can't sort of separate everything into individual packages everything you do has a knock-on effect of something else and that's why working on yourself, embracing things around you is a powerful way to view things. You remember I said like some of it is negative and some of it is positive. Um, the positive thing about embracing something that's uh, to me, embracing the negative obviously don't work for me. Um, I'm not sure how you view things, but by all means, if you see things in a different way to what I do, share it. But on another aspect of things, I feel embracing is a positive action. You know, it's a positive and you can embrace anything you choose to. Let's face it. It's not limited to one thing or another. You can embrace you can embrace adversity. You can embrace those hurdles we spoke about in the previous series. Um, you know, does it mean that by embracing it, you're not going to handle things? No, it means that by embracing it, you're taking it in your stride. You are ready to kind of turn those corners, turn that page, turn that personality around, turn that situation around and change it to work in your favour. You know, that is your power. Don't underestimate the power you have 
to change things or do things or create things that, you know, you felt, hey, I can't do that or I don't really have the power to do that. I'm, you know, even if you say, oh, it's little old me. Yeah, little old you has that power. Little old you has more than enough within your heart and within your soul to take on anything you feel you can't take on. You know, even at whatever stage in your life, whether you're young, whether you're middle-aged, whether you're old, whatever stage you are in your life, little old you is more stronger and powerful than you can ever imagine. Um, and um, I think I have a saying in one of my things about relating to the, how much power you have within you to light up the midnight sky. That was my saying to light up the midnight sky, um, you know, because we're kind of like stars, aren't we? And and that element of that cosmic energy being a part of you, being within your soul. And I'll explain all that to you as we go along. But all that power is within you to turn things around, to change things around, to work in your favour, to work for you and to whatever you need to do, it's there pushing you, egging you on. And I'll, yeah, I'll talk more a little bit about the soul and the part it has to play in your life and, you know, how, how you can use all of those amazing tools, as I call them. And I'll explain that to you as we go along. But yeah, all those things can help you today, tomorrow, throughout the week, throughout the month, you name it. It's there. <laughs> but I'm going to help bring it forward or make you aware of it or do my best to anyway. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that one. And um, I like aspects of it in many ways, the embracing of things and rising up, you know, and not shying away. It's like empowering stuff. And that's really what my work is all about. And a great part of why I kind of want to share this stuff with you. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you feel someone else will get value from what I'm saying definitely share with them so that you know they can subscribe subscribe as well and things can grow in a powerful way and I really really love doing this I think now and I love you being on the journey with me in whichever shape or form as I said if it's too long listen to a bit listen to a little bit later but you know at least it's there and um yeah I'm I'm I'm, I'm actually quite shocked at how enjoyable this process has been um did i see it in a bit of dread like oh my god can i do it yeah sure i did um and i thought well you know what am i going to talk about but once i get started i can't stop <laughs> that's that's crazy isn't it you can't stop um and i can't i have to remind myself wow look Alicia, you've gone on for this you've gone on for that it's time to, time to stop talking anyway i'm glad you enjoy it i hope you have enjoyed it leave your comments below let me know i'll also leave some details in the description Again, if you like what I do and you wish to support me in whichever way you can, then definitely check out my Patreon page. And, um, you know, I've got even more there to share with you um, and even more in-depth stuff, of course, um, because uh, if you're a patron, then you definitely um, have a little more inkling and a little you're treated a little extra special but hey if you don't want to be a patron that does not matter you are still part of my universe part of humanity and I want to share and, and everything I do with you regardless so um, yes um, I've enjoyed it and um, have a lovely day have a lovely week you know, um, don't forget what I've what I've shared today about, you know, embracing and committing and not shying away. Be bold, be courageous, do what you can in your own way and you will get there. Mm -hmm. Love and light. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.